Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, do the thing. Hawking shoes. Yeah, do it. Uh, welcome to the tap. I'm Patrick. I'm Ryan, and we're here at Stag Studios today. You love it, don't you? I love it. That's that's sticking. And we're here with Kevin. Hey. Kevin Daniels. Kevin that's me. Daniels. That is and me. he's a fan of the show. I am. I do enjoy it. Listen to it at work. It's fun. It's good. He's the the drummer for an awesome band. They're called Bermuda. Check them out. They're going on tour this week, right, Kevin? Yeah, the first show is in like two days in uh, Cleveland, Ohio. Cleveland! Yeah, we're going to hit the whole East Coast and then make our way through the Midwest over to the West Coast. And all right. Do all that stuff. I heard Cleveland really rocks. I heard that too. <laughs> That's all I got for Cleveland. <laughs> Ohio! Hi, hi, hi. That's cool. Um, how many shows are you guys doing on this tour? Uh, I don't know exactly. Is but it a two-part tour? Yeah, part one, part two. We're basically dropping the two opening bands and picking up two new bands once we go to the West Coast. Um, I think there's like probably 15 dates on the first half and then like 10 to 11 on the second half so all right and uh we can probably throw up your tour dates on the the page yeah if cool. uh you know our eight or nine listeners want to <laughs> come out and see you i think we've had more downloads than that you think so because i've been downloading it a lot <laughs> <laughs> that's great uh yeah so check out bermuda going on tour and i looked you guys up on youtube he did. He told me about that. But I wasn't sure if it was you because the R was backwards. Yeah, that was the thing that they used to do uh, before I was in the band. And when I joined, they had already flipped the R back around. So. Oh, so it's going the right way again. Yeah. Oh, sweet. I didn't know if it was the right Bermuda or not. Cool. We yeah, got a little band I think it history. was just a little, like, uh, a corn play. You know, the corn flipped their R around. They're probably fans of the band, so they just kind of stole it. I'm glad we don't do it, though. All right. There you go. Good call. <laughs> so, Patrick, do we have some emails this week? Uh, yeah, I got like three emails to read. Let me pull them up. Bring them in. Bring them in. That's nice refreshing water for you guys. <laughs> this is a reminder. Drink water every day, especially in these hot summer months. It's Dude, good for I, you. I almost had sunstroke today. Really? Oh, I was dying. Throbbing headache. It was bad. Were you out in the sun? Yeah, Obviously, but yeah, I was on motor. <laughs> Bales O'Hare. Oh, that's right. For that's always stupid fun. Stupid horses. <laughs> yeah, I grew up on a farm. My grandfather runs an organic farm in New York, so I know the hay life. Oh, I hate it. Yeah. I hate it. I need to get rich and famous so I can just hire someone <laughs> to bring me hay. <laughs> to bring you hay or your yeah. horses? <laughs> well, the horses. Oh, okay. Both. You know, hay really? is for horses. Hey, so why don't you eat some? <laughs> <laughs> so who emailed us who are uh, these people dude I, I don't know it's just out of random I got one from a kid named Jam Sesh One Jam Sesh One sounds a good name yeah, yeah. Uh, he <laughs> bad writes, parents hey, Ryan have you tried <laughs> farmersonly.com I have not. You should. So many people have suggested that to me I am all you know for our our, uh, our black fans whoa I am on blackpeoplemeet.com look me up you're not black. That's yeah, I think they're going to be disappointed. No, 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 no. <laughs> Let down. No, <laughs> my my name on there is not a black guy. Twenty five. <laughs> Find me. That's funny. Come on, ladies. Uh, Show me some love. I started a dating profile. You're married. I know. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like it's a cheating site. Oh, is that so Ashley I, Madison? No, it wasn't. I did that once before though, and I chickened out right away. Of course you did. And I chickened out right away on this one, too. Oh, no. <laughs> but I was like... You know Shelly's going to hear everyone. this. I told her about it. Oh, okay. I tell her everything. Yeah, you guys are almost too honest. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she uh, she seems bad. like she puts up with a lot. Oh, you have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> well, just from the, the few episodes. I try butt stuff a lot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you should listen to them talk while they're in, in the same room. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's We're going to have her on one of these days. It's like, going be fun. A fist fight? No, we're gonna have. Oh, we're gonna have her on. Her I thought you said we're gonna have a round. No, that's okay. kind of that'd be kind of a weird thing. Yeah, when's Shelly gonna be a guest? <laughs> I don't know. As soon as Claire comes on. Are they gonna do it together? And yeah. then they're gonna be on the show too? Yeah, I think Claire's <laughs> afraid of the uh, the rape. 
The rape. Yeah, the rape talk that we do. Oh, you do. <laughs> You're always down for the rape. The rape talk. Yeah, okay, metaphorically speaking. Let's just edit <laughs> that whole two minutes out. Yeah. Uh, Noah. Noah. <laughs> Get that out of there. Do it, Noah. Uh, Sheldon writes, uh, I have some hot friends for you, Ryan. Everybody's trying to hook me up. Yeah. Hey, why not? Yeah, why You're not, a good man? looking guy. Yeah, I can't help it. I, I tried to be ugly one time. Didn't work. It did not work. Man. Uh, and then Thunder Davin, uh, long time listener. Yeah. S- writes in several times. That's your buddy, right? Yeah. He wants to know when we're going to do the Clone Willies. Who? In studio. As soon as they send them to us. And then those will be available on the. Uh, Come on in. The Patreon or whatever. I yeah. <laughs> Come on in. I need my pillow. Please. Open the door. Oh, sorry. Welcome to the Stag Studios. These are my two sisters. Hot and hotter. Why is that so fucking hot? In Wait, here? who's yeah. hotter? Me. I'm not gonna answer. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You we're, two can answer though. We're leaving. Yeah. All so right. We came to say goodbye. Oh, I love you too. It is hey. hotter See than ya. fucking sin in here. Oh my god. Yeah. And we know what sin is. So much sin. I believe that. Don't do this, Jenny. Do the tongue. It's <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> gross. All right, my kid's gonna stay here though. Okay. Oh. We're not gonna babysit him. Yeah, no I mean, way. We'll put him in a closet. <laughs> that was a lock lucky. on him. There's He's plenty eight. of steak here. I mean, it's not like you need to do much with him. Yeah. There's a oh. pool outside. <laughs> 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 oh, he made it weird. No, oh, okay. Okay, <laughs> so here right. we go. Um, Sarah, are you going right to go on that Bahamas cruise with us next spring? Uh, yeah, if you're going to pay for it, remember? No, you yeah. just need to buy a ticket. Um, I, I'm a single mom, buddy. Yeah, we don't care about that. I don't have money. Kristen, are you going to come? Write a grant. Or Kristen? Oh, punch me in the face. I know. Are you looking fuck at me? You in the street. You want to fuck me in the street? No, not like... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that is what you said. You just said you want to fuck me in the street. Well, that's not what I meant. Well, I'm not wearing underwear, so we're almost there. I am wearing underwear. Too bad. Are you? She I know. Has. And I'm Weird. not even on like a girly time. Whoa. I'm like half chub shit now. up. <laughs> I am half chub. <laughs> See, Kevin, and I told you we are open family here. I have such a weird boner right now. I have the weirdest boner. You have a lady boner? Yeah. Sweet. All nice. the time. I heard she's got a giant clip. Huge. I didn't say that. That's what you, you said. You did. It's did okay. I? I don't you care. tell everybody. Did I say that on the show? It's not giant, but. <laughs> oh, I mean, no, I did. It's a little big. <laughs> Now I want to see it. Um, yeah, my name is Kirsten. Kirsten. Uh, Kirsten. Uh Uh-oh. Like, this is awkward. I don't know what to do. Are you the (laughs) guitarist? Are you the guitarist, the drummer, or the singer? I play the drums. Does that Uh, help me see your clitoris anymore? (laughs) That gives me a little bit more of a lady boner. Nice. (laughs) There you go, dude. Hell yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna gonna go. All right, yeah. We're gonna go walk. You boys have fun with your show. All right. Bye. Bye. I love my sisters. (laughs) Goodbye. Did you record that whole thing? Yep. Okay, good. Just leave it in, Noah. I mean, it's fine. Yeah, that's fine. That's how we do it. Yep. Lady Boners. All right. I should be the name of the episode. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, Noah. <laughs> All right. So are we getting back on the train, or are we going to just hang loose? Uh, we can get back on the train. That was the last email, though. Was it the last email? Yeah, Thunder David asked about uh, the clone of Willies. I think he really wants to see our Willies. I mean, he's Pangus the one who sent you a Pangus pick. Yeah, yeah, he's been waiting for that Full return. On. It's not getting that. Not well. I mean, I'll send him one. You should, but it's gonna be like straight on, like poor, just poor tip. <laughs> well, that's all it is. Yeah. Anyway, really, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's like somebody glued an acorn to the bottom of my torso. That's not my joke. I stole uh, that. Kevin, we're going to start writing a book on the podcast. Okay. We need your input. All right. So we're very not very talented. No, uh, you're not. Well. <laughs> no, very, neither am I. You're right. I have a lot of, like, dreams, like, plans, uh-huh. ideas. Is it going to be a fantasy style, or are you thinking more? Just. We're tossing that up. Yeah. 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 We're going to leave that open. Okay. But uh, every week, we need ideas for this book, and we're going to take down notes. And then we're gonna turn the notes into words, and we'll we'll release it 
<clears throat> so we need a we need a title, chapter, plot ideas. We have none of it. <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, that's tricky. That's something we're we're tossing around. What are you what are you getting into, Ryan? I'm opening up iTunes on my computer here. Why? Well, what are you gonna do? We'll see if we have any more reviews. Oh yeah, I don't think we do. Yeah. I looked earlier. I bullied someone into digging up her daughter's iPod to download the podcast, and she's gonna leave a review. She's who was that? This Jessica girl I had coitus with once. I is that the only Jessica you've had coitus with? No, I slept with this really hot Jessica once when I was married before. You're a bad, bad person. No, I wasn't married. I was just engaged. So. I didn't oh yeah, know. it's different. Yeah, so we're good. <laughs> <laughs> Pre, I do. Yep. Nobody likes us. Nope. We don't exist. Oh, nope. Nope. That's not us. Ah, who cares? There's nothing new. We're getting there, though. I've been recommending you guys to some friends back home. Not many of my uh, friends like listen to podcasts as it is, but I was just telling them how you guys are always you know random off the wall because that's pretty much all we do back there so <laughs> trying to get you guys some more listeners for thanks sure. man yeah we need them there's an idea all right kevin what other podcasts do you listen to uh well right now it's just you guys joe rogan obviously obviously not listen to him and then uh uh, Bill Burr as well. Oh, Burr's funny. Yeah. Okay. I like I like his stand up and his show. Um, F is, F for, is family. for family. Yeah, I, that's a good the, show. Have you seen season two yet? No. Yeah, Never that's right. what I was gonna say. <laughs> I don't know if there. it's out. Yeah, it is out. out. Yeah. Nice. No, I've been I've been watching Shameless. Why? You're like because I love titties. How yeah, many episodes that's true. is there? And there's show? like seven seasons or there's something. There's six seasons on Netflix. Yeah, I Man. think I'm only like three seasons deep on I'm that. in the third one yeah. right now. I watched a half hour of the first episode once. Yeah, you couldn't stand it. Pangus was hard as a diamond. Yeah. <laughs> when I came, I was done. <laughs> yeah. Sweet. Man, I, uh, I was super focused earlier today. And then you got that sunstroke. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we didn't mention our new sponsor this week. Yeah, who's our new sponsor? Dude, I'm so excited. This company reached out to me on Facebook, and they said, hey, we hey. like your style. We love it. <laughs> Speaking of style, check out our rompers. Yeah, what's the name of these romping guys? Avalon Rompers. Oh, all right. Your A to Z romper needs. Where are like they from? That. They're they're based out of Oakland. California? No. <laughs> Indiana. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> they uh, they they say they're your A to Z romper needs, but they only have two styles. It's camouflage or it's pink. Well, that doesn't suit my needs. Well, what would your romper needs be? <sighs> Just green. Green? With yeah. With uh, the Tap Podcast yeah. embroidery on it? That's right. Let's do that. Uh, I could get behind that. Yeah. Where, you can have your very own... The tap. The tap. Romper. romper. Forty nine ninety nine. Forty nine ninety nine. Plus shipping and handling. Yep. That's a done deal. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so uh that pretty excited. Avalon rompers. Okay. Check them out, guys. Welcome aboard, guys. Oakland, Look them up. Indiana. Look them up on Facebook, on Amazon. They're everywhere. Everywhere where you buy stuff. Male rompers are really blowing up. I've seen a lot of them. I've yeah. heard mixed reviews on it. I've, I've heard some anger and I've heard some love. No, I haven't seen any in person. No. I'm not sure what the the big deal is. Like, why? I don't understand why people get angry over feds anymore. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Let them do it. I but, saw this super hot girl walking in the mall in a romper and just big camel toe. So maybe that's what the whole plan was. Mmm, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> so you're from New York. I am. I was uh, born in Munster, Indiana. I was there for a few years, but I was like raised in New York. I consider myself a New Yorker, yes. New Yorker? Like yes. Like in the city in New York? Uh, no, I'm like six hours away from the city oh. in a little town called Jamestown. Jamestown and why? Jamestown. Is that yeah. like uh, like famous Jamestown? It's where Lucille Ball is from. Even though she's not from Jamestown, she's from the next town over, Celeron, but Jamestown steals all of the fame. Really? Yep. Huh. Yeah, fuck Celeron. Jeez. That's what happens with us in Grand Rapids. There's a lot of like cool people from Muskegon. Yeah. But they're like, Grand Rapids, my hometown. 
<laughs> well, because everyone knows where Grand Rapids is. Yeah. I mean, if you say it, they could literally point to it on a map. I guess mm -hmm. that's probably why they do that, because Celeron is literally like four blocks, and then you're out of Celeron. <laughs> so it's like the, the Nunica of New York. Okay. Yeah. Oh, God. I don't like I Nunica. Love, I love this state. <laughs> <laughs> this is my home state. Yeah, I... You... And no, this is my state, dude. Right. Okay, but... Don't tread on me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, tell us how you feel about Muskegon. Love it. Do you know? I feel like it's douched a little bit, and uh, it's a little bit better now. You said it's douched a little bit? Yeah. What does that mean? <laughs> Cleaner. Cleaner. <laughs> They've been cleaning up the streets, bro. That's fair. Have you been to those little... Uh, uh, the Western pop-up business thing that no, they have? No, but I want to. They're cool. Have you been? I walked past them. Yeah? Anything mm -hmm. interesting? Uh, it's about like walking through a hippie festival. Like touristy stuff. Yeah. They're trying to get that uh, the cruise ship people. Yeah, they're going to get that cruise dash. That's good stuff. Yeah, so if you're in Muskegon, check out the uh, pop-up businesses on Western Avenue. And after you're done, go in for a beer at Unruly or Pigeon Hill. If you don't like beer, go down to the 18th Amendment. They got their own liquor. Oh, my God. You dummy. Go get it. Sweet. So, Kevin, uh, how long have you been in Bermuda? Uh, just a little over a year. Sweet. Um, the guys were out on tour coming through my area, and my local band, Low Life, opened up a show for them. I uh, got to meet the guys, and afterwards... Um, they posted on Facebook probably about a week later that they were getting rid of their current drummer and going to hold auditions, so I hit the guys up, and the rest is history. Did the current drummer know he was getting canned, or did he read yeah. about it on Facebook? Pretty much, but... Yes. He came across his feed? Yeah. I know, you know him better than I do. Yeah, we're actually from the same town, um, but I, it was I guess it was a mutual thing. He was ready to leave, and they didn't really get along well on the road, so it just didn't work out, which right. good news for me, you know, because mm -hmm. I wouldn't be right here. In the Stag Studio. That's Stag's right. Stag's hot. Stag, Stag Studio. Studio. Yeah, it's warm it's one today. The Stank Studio. Drink Ooh, some water. I like that. <laughs> the Stank Studio. Stank Studio. Hey, your sister Kristen was kind of cute. I'm not going to respond. Okay. I mean, you don't have to. I'm just stating. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, you know what? I never... I don't think I'm weirded out by people talking about my sisters. It's just I'm not used to it. You're just used to seeing them naked all the time. Yeah. Right. <laughs> As she walked by. <laughs> <laughs> I don't talk to my sisters like that. We don't. Me and my sisters don't get along like that. You don't really get along very I, well, well I get with, along with them. My one sister listens. She loves the show. Is that Louise? Yeah. I like that name, Louise. Louise. Is she cool? Yeah. No, cool. I mean, is she cool? Does she smoke weed? No, dude. Ah, you pothead. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. I don't even think you smoke that. Well, you can't. I know. Where I you can't. Work. I know where you work. But I, I'd i like to make it clear. Could that I would, or would that I could, rather. Yeah, I don't really have a problem with that. Nope. I like... I assume you don't, Kevin, because you're in a band and you guys are on the road. Uh, Chicks are throwing their Keeping your nose clean, right? <laughs> yeah. On the stage. Yeah, uh, I'm a fan of the burn, but while I'm out on the road, I like to keep a clear head. You know, I got a job to do, so can't really get lost I in the really, sauce. I never really thought of it as a job. Yeah, as much fun as it is, you know, you gotta, but it you is. gotta treat it's, it like a job. It's I, so, well, and I only say that because I've never been in a band. Yeah. So. Or been musically talented. At all. Uh, go ahead and edit that last part out, Noah. Um, Ryan's really not that funny. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it is it is work out there. I mean, I've I've not been in a touring band, but when I went out with Bermuda last year. Which was fun. That was fun. Those, I think it, it was nice having you out. I oh, can't. Like, I imagine it would be sweet to be, like, super famous and have, like, super popular songs, but I think it would also be a lot of fun just to be in a touring band. Mm -hmm. It is cool. So A lot of driving. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of driving. A lot of late night driving. Yeah, just being able to be in a different state every day and, you know, experience things that you... Crossing the yet. Mississippi. Yeah, it's fun. That was cool. My favorite part... Um, driving and the scenery was one morning when I was it was toward the end of my driving shift and it was in Oklahoma as the sun was coming up there was these uh, do you remember what I'm talking about not really but that that is my scenario many many times driving while the sun's coming out and we were driving along and there were um, the big wind turbines for 
energy. And the sun was coming up through them, and they were just moving slow and majestically. You got a tear in your eye, didn't you? Teared up. I bawled. <laughs> 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 just like the gays. Yep. <laughs> just like them. But no, man, that was that was a really cool uh, moment for me on that tour. But I, it was all pretty fun. Yeah. You're not in the band, though. So I'm sure. not in the band. We're, we're talking to an actual member of the band. <laughs> we are from Bermuda going yeah. on tour. What's your latest album title? Um, I'm not 100% Good question. how to oh. say it, um, but I do believe it's Nepenthe. Corey, our vocalist, he's the one who came up with it, and I haven't heard him say it yet. So, right. I, th- I think I heard Noah say it was Nepenthe. Yeah. I thought, yep. I thought that's how I pronounced it. Yeah, that's what I'm assuming. Yeah. We're yeah, gonna, now we're we've gonna be, had. We're going to be picking him up tonight, actually. Yep, Corey, picking him up. Yeah. Picking up the core. Then we will all be here. Groovy. In Muskegon, Michigan. I love it. Corny boys. I'm super happy about Muskegon. Do you do you honestly like Muskegon more than you did before? Uh, somewhat. Somewhat. It's not a bad spot. I yeah, just Kevin. Know, what are your thoughts? I just don't know if I'd be able to live here with like nothing happening all the time. Yeah, it's boring. Yeah, that's it. There's just not much going on. So, what else are you into, Kevin? Um, hobbies. Well, yeah, I I like to spin fire. I I have <laughs> what? I have nunchucks that I light on fire and spin around. Um, Wasn't expecting this. Uh, a, a bow staff as well that I light on fire and spin around. Uh, I do Whoa. play the guitar as well for fun. God, everyone does. Uh, <laughs> Except for me. <laughs> uh, what else? I can't draw. Can't do anything cool like that. What other things can't you do? That's pretty much it. You can do everything else? Yeah. You're like a pro. <laughs> You're a pretty good cook? I am. That's good. Um, my grandparents run a catering company, so I came up in the kitchen, and that's pretty much my side gig. Um, besides playing music, I run CNC machinery, but if I'm not doing that, I'm in a kitchen somewhere cooking it up. Sweet, man. What do you like to cook? Uh, let's see. I mean, I love chicken, so anything with chicken mm. is my go-to. Um, I'm a fan of the red sauce, you know? Like to throw that into some pasta dishes and the, the mix and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. You know, stuff like that. Nothing too crazy. That's good. You're getting fancy with some sushi once in a while. But uh-uh. No? I love the nope. sushi. Can't oh, do it, man. Gosh. I'm not to bring sushi. I made a vow to yeah. not eat anything that lived in the water. Uh, I don't Why? know if I can trust you if you don't like sushi. Man. Okay, to be fair, <laughs> as long as it doesn't have shellfish in it, I will try it. Yeah. What about like imitation crab meat? Imitation crab meat is very good. Because it's just cod. I love crab meat rangoon. So I'm a fan of like the uh, the raw scallop uh, sushi, like a, a nice spicy, crunchy raw scallop. Ugh. And um, I'm not the biggest fan of salmon, but... Salmon? I, yeah, I can get it down. I tried some salmon probably about a month or two ago. Some smoked salmon. What was her name? <laughs> How is Lauren doing? Shut up. <laughs> Do you know about Lauren, Kevin? I don't think so. She's an ex-girlfriend. Yeah. Twice. Removed? Yeah. <laughs> Twice removed. That was, uh... I'll give our listeners a bit of advice here. If you break up with somebody, don't get back with them. Especially if her name's Lauren and she's a cheating whore? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which I want to meet her so bad. Sure. You've never met her? Not in person. Oh. So she's from this area then? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. She's going nowhere. Probably. <laughs> nowhere life. <laughs> so, okay, we got off the rails there. No. What were we talking about? Oh, we were just talking about what, inf- or what Kevin was into. Yeah. What, what are some of your influences in your music? Uh, well... Noah does a lot of the writing, well, pretty much all of the writing, and um, I just kind of follow along with what he's doing. But for me personally, um, it's kind of changed over the years. I, I started out with like the fast uh, Black Dahlia Murder. I don't know if you're, you're familiar with the Black Dahlia Murder. They're like a like a fast death metal, a lot of blast beats, a lot of double kick drum, you know. But I've I've slowly moved into the the groovy stuff, you know. Noah's changed me into a, a groove king, so. Ah, groove king. Yeah, I like that title. I, I get down with uh, like humanity's <laughs> last breath and some real gu- crazy guitar noise, genty stuff. Okay. Yeah. Do you, uh, I've heard a bit of Animals as Leaders. Yeah, those guys are awesome. Okay. Um, 
they kind of I, I like to play guitar like those guys like that I, I, I more melodic them. yeah okay and a guitar aspect but you know I came up on the Slipknot Corn you know Mudvayne type deal were you a fan of the Misfits uh, Were not you really. That I, kid? Didn't, I didn't get into them. I did not get into the Misfits. Okay, I n- I didn't either. I just yeah. know kids who did. Right, and they're exactly the, the type you think. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think of Collective Soul? Collective Soul. I don't know what that is. <laughs> they're the official uh, band of the Tap Podcast. Oh, are they? I'm sure. No. I'm sure they're awesome. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, technically, the official band of the Tap Podcast is just me. Yeah. Or Yeah, that song that plays, In and Out. Yeah. That's my song. Nice. I wrote that. Yeah, I figured you didn't steal it. No, I didn't, I didn't pay for it. <laughs> well, I mean, you wrote it, so you don't really have to pay for it. Nope, that's exactly why. But I guess if we got like famous and you got pissed, you could be like, you have to buy that song from me. Yeah. <laughs> if you want to use it, it's mine. <laughs> like our cute. child. <laughs> we don't have a child. Not together. Yeah. Anymore. Well, he has childs. I don't. I almost don't. You almost don't? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what happened? I just want to drown him. Which one? <laughs> the boy. The boy? Yeah. The boy who wants to be on this show. Yeah, bad. <laughs> yeah, I've done really good at not having kids. So oh, far. that reminds me. We have a gift for you, bro. Because you're out on the road so much. <laughs> We worry about you. We want to protect your interests. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> I was thinking about picking some of these up, actually. Uh, I should have got a deluxe box. The Fire and Ice. I've, Fire I've ice? actually never messed with these ones before. Trojan oh, condoms. Man. condoms. Trojan condoms. We were going to autograph the box for you so you could save that, too. Happy tour, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> no, we give every guest a little gifty gift. A little something. Yeah, well, I appreciate it. And it's usually just something stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully I can remember how to use those. Yeah, you just blow them up and throw them at a ceiling yeah. fan. <laughs> Hours of entertainment. Nice. My friend and I did that one time. It's his birthday today, my friend, who I'm talking about. Oh, what's his name? His name is Dan Dorito. Dan, Dan Dorito. Dorito. Yeah, he's a good friend of mine. Is this family the family that started the Dorito brand? No, nope. different spelling. Oh, well, he's poor. <laughs> oh, no. He's a nice man. I love you, Dan. I hope you had a good birthday, Well, happy buddy. birthday, man. Never met you. Probably never will. Well, when people are hearing this, it's going to be... After. Presumably fact. Thursday. But, so, but it's not it his birthday matter. today, today. Today is his birthday, the day we're recording. Today, Sunday, today. <laughs> the 12th? No, today's the 11th. Is today the 11th? Yeah. No way. Yeah, check your calendar. It totally I promise. Is. Hey, do you know what we missed last week? We what did we miss? We recorded on... Um, 420? No. That was a <laughs> ago. We should have recorded on Friday. Why that? On the 9th. International Sex Day. Aw. 6 9. Ooh. Is it? Oh. All right. Uh, 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 you're there. All right. I can get behind that. I That's can get said. in front of it. <laughs> and then we can do other things. <laughs> yeah. The only holiday we have coming up this week, Wednesday, is Flag Day. I don't even know what the fuck they do for that. <laughs> Yeah, they just retire the old flag. <laughs> I don't know. I, I apologize if some people hold it in high regard, but I don't understand well, it. None of us are veterans, so I don't think it matters. Yeah, but does it only matter to veterans? I don't know. I think they're pretty gay for the flag. That would assume so. Could be. I will bet some of them aren't. I know one who's not. He's no. funny. We should have him on the show. I don't think he'd do it though. He's a guy I work with. He will never listen to us. <laughs> Awesome. You said you worked with uh, CNC machinery? Correct. That is correct. For about six years now. I've worked in a CNC shop for like three years now, and I want to stick my face in the machine. Well, Well, luckily, I I don't have to run the same part over and over. Uh, I get to like tear down all the tools and set new tools in and, you know, switch jobs and whatnot. So it's not too monotonous. What kind of, uh, what kind of things do you machine? Uh, well... I'm currently with a new company as of just like a few months ago, but I was machining a lot of bomb parts for the government, a lot of Department of Defense stuff. Oh. Um, top secret? Yeah. We uh, we worked on some top secret stuff for it, didn't we, Ryan? We did. Yeah. I made a lot of the lugs that attach the bombs to like the planes that they like hook onto to drop them. Yeah, dang. Um, actually machining the casings themselves. We didn't do anything with actual explosives, but right. just like the casings and whatnot. I've made like tank slugs before. Damn. Um, 
Right now, I'm, uh, where I'm at currently, I'm just running these little tiny copper parts that are for like a wire machine. So it's just some random bullshit, but okay. that's all I do. Yeah. Random bullshit. Yeah. We're a small job shop too. We it's anywhere from like four pieces to you know four thousand pieces, but. Yeah, that's pretty much what's happening where I'm at now. It's a family-owned company. There's like fucking 12 people that work there. Yeah, that's like the size of my shop. Yeah. Yeah, that was... the Erdman was a little bigger. That's where we met. Patrick and I was at a place called Erdman Machine. I'll say it now. <laughs> you don't even care now. I don't even care now. it out there. Yeah, we were, we were... In our first attempt at podcasting, we were a little careful. Yeah, now we don't even... Try. Yeah. Come at me. Come on, bro. <laughs> Fight me, please. I, I don't think you would. I mean, he would never hear this. No. But well, we don't even say anything bad. About him. <laughs> Put your finger over here. <laughs> you don't know that I do this I know for. It's a mustache. Yeah. Because he's got a big old porn stash. The guy who owns the company. Mustache. Yeah. Well, now, Prominent. Yeah. I don't think I could ever just rock a mustache. I did one time. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think I could pull that off. I've never actually shaved my face since the day I started growing a beard. Really? I don't even know what my face looks like. <laughs> it's probably black. This Man. is as short as it gets. If this episode gets a million downloads, will you shave your face? That's a safe bet. You know, that it I'll, never will. I'll take that bet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A million downloads, people. You heard it here. Yeah, eight people heard it. <laughs> no, we have a lot of listeners, man. I hear it all the time. People are There's gotta be a out. lot of listeners. I mean, that Romper Company hitting you up out of nowhere on Facebook. Yeah, know? that was Plus, crazy. Last week's sponsor, Clona Willie. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And I do have another sponsor. Yeah, do you want to tell I them don't. about that? We no, can, we can't really talk about that yet. Because that's sort of like a that's a pretty big deal, right? That could be a big deal. All right, I'm excited about that one. I told you about it. You better shut your mouth. Big deal I in forgot. your butt. Yeah. <laughs> Clona Willie. Yeah. yeah, they're pretty awesome. Like, they send you this whole kit, you get hard, and then you yeah. fill that hole full of goo. That's yeah, what the my, instructions say. My ex girlfriend <laughs> wanted me to do that for her, but it never happened. Ex girlfriend? Yeah. Yeah. Don't do it. No. Not for her. No. I mean, we were together when she asked me. No. But <laughs> <laughs> no, that could you be should do it now. Yeah. And send and it send to it her. She calls me up. <laughs> Hey, babe, I was just thinking oh, about you. Oh, God. I, I sent you my willy. I know how you loved this so much. <laughs> what if she put it, like, on a necklace and just wore it, like, all the time? That'd be a weird piece of bling. That's an aggressive piece of jewelry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you said you listen to a lot of other podcasts, like Joe Rogan? Yeah, pretty much just those two, Joe Rogan and Bill Burr, and then you guys. Uh, I wasn't too big into the podcast until going out on the road with Noah and Ryan and those guys are all about podcasts so it kind of introduced me to them right then that's pretty cool man we're we're up in Kevin we're up in the ranks of well we're actually Joe going Rogan after Joe Burr. Rogan yeah we're we're shooting for his audience we're going to yeah. take him on we have a beef we're going to have to get Rogan. a lot smarter <laughs> <laughs> or higher yeah. yeah that too did you uh, don't touch the mic <laughs> that was don't me touch the mic <laughs> did you listen to the episode with uh Wheeler Walker Jr this week i did not man he do you know who wheeler walker jr is i don't you guys have not heard of this guy no sorry you dated us a bit no he's brand new what yeah oh no i feel old yeah (laughs) (laughs) he sings like classic country that's probably why i haven't heard but but his own song twist it's kind of like andrew dice clay meets country music what it's Phenomenal. <laughs> Do you want to hear some of the song titles? Yeah, we'll hear the titles. Well, I mean, we can't. Play we can't play it. the songs. I don't think. I think we could. No, iTunes will shut it down. I don't think they will. They will. They play I music all it. the time, bro. Yeah, but you pay for it. We're not gonna pay for it. Yeah, exactly. That's why they're gonna <laughs> shut it down. <laughs> I gotta find it. I downloaded his first album. He has two albums. He just released a new album this week. His first song, "Redneck Shit." <laughs> Redneck shit. Okay. Uh, second track, beer, wi- <laughs> wide, beer, weed, and coochies. Mm-hmm. Okay. Family tree. Can't. <laughs> it's like you want to follow up. Just glossed over that yeah. one. <laughs> family tree. Well, it's like he sings about literally fucking everyone in her family tree. Oh, in her family tree. Okay. Yeah. Uh, can't. Better. How about can't fuck you off my mind? 
<laughs> I've had that problem. Yep. My favorite, second favorite song on this album, which is just self-titled Wheeler Walker Jr. Redneck shit. <laughs> Not really self-titled. Uh, fuck you, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> she uh, she broke up with him, and he sing. He says, "Fuck you, bitch." Mm-hmm. Fuck your friends for tearing us apart. Fuck your dog. Hope he never comes home. <laughs> Man. Fuck you, bitch. Ruthless. I hope you end up alone. Uh huh. It's so sad. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Drop them out. Don't know. Uh, here's a classic. Eating pussy, kicking ass. I'm a fan. Yep. How right. about, this is mine and Shelly's song. Fighting, fucking, farting. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, this song, I actually thought of you, Ryan, better off beaten off. Because, <laughs> you know, like he sings about only dating That's my life. <laughs> and you're just literally better off beaten off. Yeah. Yeah. I am. Dating whores. Uh, the only the, girls I got to worry about are right here. Yeah. Palm And I Palm keep my eyes on them at all times. Wow. The one on the left has got the herb. <laughs> you looked at the right first. <laughs> Uh, I did. My favorite song on the uh, Wheeler Walker Jr. Redneck Shit album, Uh Sit On My Face. I can understand why. And then uh, I think this might be your favorite song, Which One of You Queers Is Gonna Suck My Dick. (laughs) (laughs) I wish we could play some of this because it's just hilarious. And it sounds like uh, Hank Williams Jr. Jr. All my rowdy friends are coming over tonight. He makes he makes fun of like modern day country singers because they suck. Yeah, yeah he fucking so. hates them. Like they pop are country is just garbage. I'll say it They're on like this podcast. Slowly morphing into rap lyrics. Yeah, for a country it, song. It's really it's bad. garbage. Yeah, but this is like old school country. Everyone should turn off the shitty podcast and download. Yeah. <laughs> Stop listening to us right now. Stop what you're doing because I'm about to ruin. <laughs> No, they should. He's got his own podcast, and it's pretty f- funny. Um, this is a, it's just a great album. Yeah, I can appreciate genuine music, but when you're just simply pandering, just to pander. Uh, yeah. Right. Have you seen that Bo Burnham bit? Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm a real big fan of that. The Burn. Yeah, that's that little bit he does. He like um, made the song. Have you seen that, Patrick? Um, I don't think so. I've watched some of his. It's in his latest like, He wrote a up. song about basically explaining how shitty modern country is and how they just pander. Oh, like, in sense. a country song. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And it works perfectly. Um, it's so good. I think the last song I heard from him was, like, my parents think I'm gay. <laughs> probably. <laughs> or my parents probably think I'm gay. Something like that. He's funny. Yeah, I haven't yeah, seen swears. anything uh, new from him in a while, but... Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I think that special came out a year or two ago. Yeah, that was the last thing I had seen. Yep. And then, uh, oh, we can talk about stand up comedy. I love stand up, dude. Me too. I'm a fan. Okay, let's move Next, on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, who are you a fan of? I mean. uh, my big ones, I really like uh, <coughs> Reggie Watts. Yeah. Patton Oswald. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, that whole gang that hangs with Patton Oswald. Uh, Maria Bamford. Bamford. She's funny. She is the silliest Bam. woman that in the world. That is definitely a, a bucket list thing for me, seeing Reggie Watts live. I've seen him. What? Yeah. Where? I, Bonnaroo. Bonnaroo. It was a sweet show. Dude, it's, he's so awesome. Is he it's, the dude with the giant fro? Yeah. Yeah. I watched him do a... Uh, Recently a, lost a bunch of weight. Reggie, if you hear this, good job, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I saw him do like a uh, VR special. Yeah, he does. Yeah. Um, Super into gaming, I guess. Oh, uh, he's... Uh, Man of many means. Yeah, just kind of out there. Yeah. Like a modern day uh, Cl- George Clinton. The funk. Yeah. The, funk, uh, the Parliament, Parliament Funkadelic. Funkadelic. Yeah. Just the loop, <laughs> loop pedal on stage that. is just. It's incredible. Yeah. And to watch him do it live. <sighs> tight pussy. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> but yeah. Um. He's the only stand-up comic I've seen live. You guys have been to any shows? I have not. I have not been to a live stand-up. You really like Burt Kreischer. That's his uh, name, yeah, right? Yeah, he's, he's my dog. Your dog. He's just funny. Look up Burt Kreischer, The Machine. 
Mm-hmm. I'll have to check him out. I don't, I don't know if I'm familiar story. with him. Anthony Jusselnick. Do you remember yeah. watching him the last time you were here? Yeah. Oh, my that God. That dude is also <sighs> super underrated. Brutal. Yeah. Brutal. Uh, who else am I into? Uh, there's this comedy duo in L.A. Uh, called Danish and O'Neill. Never heard. Funny guys. You ever hear the Sklar Brothers? <laughs> yes. They're pretty funny. They have a podcast. They do? Yep. Sklar Brothers. Yeah, they were on um, Mark Maron's show. WTF? When he was uh, on his, not his podcast, but the, the oh, show uh, Maron on yeah. IFC, when he was in his downward spiral. Oh, I didn't know he had a downward spiral. Just on the show. Oh, it was just like coming to an end? <laughs> yeah. Okay. It was funny. Okay. What other comedians do we like? I'm Louis C.K. Yeah, I was just going to say that. Everyone Louis. likes Louis. He's a lovable guy. Yeah. Yeah, I like uh, Ari Shafir. Yes. Very offensive. Man. Hilarious. His, uh, what was the uh, the racist stuff he did on YouTube? I don't remember. Oh, something redneck. No. Great American r- racist or something. Man, I'm totally butchering this. But he would, like, drive around. He would set up these bits where he would go to, like, a Home Depot and pick up, like, a bunch of migrants and then take them to the uh, immigration office and then park the truck and then call for the immigration officers to come and the Mexicans would just scramble. (laughs) Jesus. Or he he did this thing. He did a bit where he was trying to... Uh, get black people on a beach to sign up to go back to Africa. Yeah, and I saw that. Board the boat that, that was had. in movie forty three, wasn't <laughs> yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. All this were just bits, though. Yeah, none of it was like. But he's not serious about yeah. it. No, but it, one dude like kicks his ass. Well, every, you know what? I've heard him talk about it. Everyone was in on it. Really? Yep. Oh, okay. So that was all. It was all just scripted. Oh, that's not fun. Um, for the the viewer, yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. You got anybody else on the brain, Kevin? Um, I just recently watched uh, Aziz his new stand up. Oh, I like his stand up, and I like his show, Master of None. Yeah, the big bud, little bud stuff. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm a fan. I'm a fan of that. Eric Wareheim. Yeah, another. I, I I wouldn't call him a stand up though. It'd be cool if he did. I would go see him. I would. Tim and Eric both. Yeah. I keep telling you to check them out. Tim and Eric? Yeah. I've seen some of their stuff. Have it's you? It's just weird. It's yeah. very weird. They're they're out of control sometimes, but that's just what makes it so great. Mm-hmm. Doesn't that, one of the guys have a new show on Cartoon Network where... Do, is that where they play uh, on like cinema? Deckard or something? Yeah, Decker. Yeah. Yep. I think I watched like two minutes of that the other day and I was like, I can't. This Where he's like a, a weird cop, kind of. Yeah. yeah. I haven't watched it. Is it Tim's show? Yeah. Yeah. Decker. I haven't seen it yet. <laughs> to check it out. What about like Amy Schumer? Are you guys fans? <sighs> no. No, I don't like her stand up so much, but I think she's an alright person. I don't know her I personally. So I, I do. Can't we make talk. That, I can't <laughs> make that call. <laughs> he has a gun. <good. laughs> she's going to be on the show, actually. Nice. Whoa. Yeah. Oh, Ryan dropping big fucking episode 100 bombs on us. <laughs> yeah. That's a. Uh, she's. Slow I'm, down. No, we're going to. We, we talked about trying to get big people on the show. Patrick and I are going to have a little contest between each other, I think. Yeah. I started that. Yeah, he did. We're uh, going to see who cool. can get the most famous person on the show. I sent out an email today. So, right now, you're winning? I, I am winning, technically. Technically, you are a... <laughs> uh, what would you call it? Like a working band? Yeah, I mean, we're we're signed. Touring? You yeah, know, so. a touring artist. How much you get paid? No, I'm just kidding. Don't ask me. <laughs> <laughs> Who would you send an email to today? Uh, an author. Oh, the, the guy. Uh, yeah. Do his you want to say his name? Yeah, it's uh, Robert A. Salvatore. He writes books. It's a lot of books. Books that you like to read. Yeah, me and uh, our friend Jim went to meet him at a book signing. Mm -hmm. It was good times. Oh, Jim. Yep. Yeah, I sent him a message on Facebook today because we talk. We're pretty good friends. I say we're best friends. Does he... uh, (laughs) Has he responded? Not yet. I literally just sent it like two hours ago. Oh, okay. (laughs) So, yeah. Yeah, that could be fun. Yeah, we're going to try to get like really famous people. I'm going to get Amy Schumer. Do it. I do. I she probably she, would do it. I don't know if she's done any podcasts. 
uh, we'd be the first. I know she. And then she can kiss me on the lips. Oh, I would kiss her right on the mouth. I think she's pretty. I think she's hot. Yeah, she's not bad to look at. A little thick. Love it. She can smother me. More cushion for the pushing. <laughs> Come on the show, Amy. No, um, Bert Kreischer asked her to do his podcast, and she was like, no, nah, can't we just have like a real conversation? That's what we're doing right now. I know. But it's like a weird Hollywood thing. Like, they're both kind of famous, and... She's very famous. Yeah. I there was, um, I saw a thing. Do you know who Nikki Glaser is? Yeah. She was saying something to the effect of, you know, the uh, paparazzi drove by and didn't notice her. And they <laughs> said, who are you? She said, I'm friends with Amy Schumer. Did you see that video this week of uh, Kesha trying to give Jerry Seinfeld a hug? No. And he goes, no, thank you. <laughs> No, no, thank you. What's up with the hugs? Yeah. She's like, oh, I'm such a big fan. I just want to, can I give you a hug? And he's like, no, no, thank you. <laughs> and he goes, I don't know who that woman was. And they're like, oh, that was Kesha. He's like, oh, well, good luck to her. <laughs> he did not know who she was. <laughs> I would have crushed it. Jerry. Oh. Come on the show, Jerry. Man, if we get Jerry Seinfeld, that would be the ultimate guy. Yeah, then it would be easy to get other celebrities. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We could just lie and say that he did the episode and then I'd, just edit. I like Jerry. Scenes from Seinfeld in. And I like it. Jerry, but I think I'd rather have Larry David on the show. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That would be. I think Larry is funnier. Mm hmm. I heard he threw a temper tantrum once over <laughs> the masturbation bit on Seinfeld. <laughs> Where the network wasn't gonna let him do it, he got pissed and threw a chair through a fucking glass wall. Does that check out? That's what I heard. Damn. On the internet, so it must be real. It's yeah. gotta be real. One hundred percent fact. I'm still looking for Nessie. What's Nessie? Loch Ness. Oh, whatever, dude. She's got nothing on Bigfoot. Don't say uh, anything about it. <laughs> They're listening right now. <laughs> Let's see. What else? What else do we have to cover today? Before uh, we start wrapping this up. Have we talked about Pops yet? Pop Talk? Pop Talk. Can't pop wait. Talk. Let's talk about Pop, baby. Mm. Let's talk about... Kevin, you listen you to the show, so you know me. how much I really don't enjoy <laughs> this part. Have you ever seen any Pops? I haven't. Have you collected them? No. I should have bought you a Pop today, man. Um, the only Pop I know of is Sody Pop. Sody Pop. Sody pop. <laughs> well, no, these are little, uh, little figures, vinyl figures. Yeah, don't you have like a zillion of them but, at twelve dollars a piece? Yeah. <laughs> See, <laughs> number like, one fan is Kevin. Gonna break in, <laughs> break into my house and steal my pops now. Um, It'll be me. <laughs> dude, sweet ones. I I was out pop hunting today. Do really, they do anything cool or they just, no? Just, like, they just, sit just in a like box. It. Yeah. Um, Makes yeah. me so mad. That's the wife. Oh, nice. Yeah, she's not like, doing bad for yourself. <laughs> You're oh, showing those the, things. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's my wall of pops. Holy shit. Why am I not scrolling? Oh, that's shark. That's oh, my dog. Uh, I've got another picture with my daughter standing up, and they're taller than her. Nice. Yeah, so didn't find any this week. I went to... Uh, what a shame. I went to all of the <laughs> local Walgreens. All of the local... <laughs> There's like eight of them around here. Yeah, I went to all of them, dude. God. <laughs> Did not find a Mace Windu. Uh -huh. He's the black guy in Star Wars. I know who he is. The other black guy. Oh, okay. The yeah. one who's not Lando? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> See? Man, Star Wars is racist. Yeah, for real. Uh, I didn't find the uh, Scarlet Spider, Spider-Man one I want. It's brand new. Okay. And that was the only other one I was looking for. I didn't find anything. Man, Man. I'm really letting everyone down this week. I'm sorry. Yeah. Pop Talk was so exciting this week. I'm going to get Ryan into collecting pops. You're not. No, he probably already has a collection going that he's just like too embarrassed to well, admit. In the static studios, Shh. he's got this locked closet <laughs> door that he refuses to open. And I think <laughs> well, that that is his uh, pop closet. Yeah. Why do you have a drill? That probably sounds horrible on the yeah, podcast. No one hates you immediately. It doesn't sound bad. Wait. <laughs> he's sitting there with his headphones on. <laughs> Bam! 
He's actually going to be on the way to get me in a bit. Uh, I guess Corey came in a little earlier oh, yeah? than anticipated. He just texted me, actually. Did All right. In? Well, that is perfect because it's about time to wrap this up. Already? Yeah, man. Our guest has to go. Man. Business calls. Business. And that's fine. We, that's cool. We were I mean, super happy to have you today, Kevin. Yeah. Hey, you know, I'm happy it. to be here. Uh, it was nice. Have any words of wisdom for us before you go? Keep it sexy. You know, you guys are hammering it. Keep yeah. it sexy. Yeah, that's <laughs> awesome. Too bad we didn't set up a drum set and have you play it for us, but that's how we roll. Unorganized. Well, well you can my, hear Kevin yeah, play. Yeah, my drums are right around the corner. <laughs> yeah, you can hear Kevin play in Bermuda. Come on, guys. Just the band it. Bermuda, not yeah. the triangle. Not the yeah. triangle. I bet you or hear the country. That everywhere you go. Yeah, that is very true. I was saving that the whole episode. <laughs> God. <laughs> it's just there in the background. <laughs> so check it out, guys. Bermuda, Nepenthe. Yes. Uh, released on the 16th. You can pre order on urbanyetirecords.com right now. Uh, we've got bundle packages. You can get a t shirt, poster, windbreaker, all of the CD, just whatever one you want. Pick up your gear, guys. Come on. Yeah. You need it. I think we're going to have to order at least the CD. Yeah. Absolutely. All right. Well, we were, we were here with Kevin today. Kevin Daniels, everybody. I'm awesome. Ryan. I'm Patrick. That's hey, the tap. And please follow us on iTunes, Facebook. Give us a five-star review. Positive, Positive text. text review. Come on, guys. We blew the outro. Yeah. Well, we can. We'll, we'll fix it. Ready? Okay. All right, go. All right, all right. make sure you uh, check us out on Facebook. Yep, check we, us out on Facebook. Yep, check us out on Twitter. Check us out on Twitter. At Talking Tap. At Talking Tap. Tweet at us. Come on, guys. No, Nobody's tweeted at us. No, but we are, we've been getting some emails in the Gmail account. Definitely getting some emails. At Definitely. Talking Tap at gmail.com. I'm Ryan. I'm Kevin. <laughs> I am still Patrick. <laughs> And we will, we won't see you, but we'll hear you next week. You'll hear us. Something will happen. We'll be back. All right. Kisses. Bye. Okay.